Hello, this is Francis from McCaffrey Crafts and uh, it's been a while since we had one of these uh, sitting down have a having a cup of tea video. So I've no plan what I'm going to talk about. I just decided to, to press the button and uh, here you can see uh, the, the steam raising off the tea. Uh, good, nice cup of tea. And uh, just like any of these chats, uh, I'm going to have a biscuit as well. I think uh, these are the, you know, they're not, not the healthiest to eat, but as I always say, everything in a, a little bit of moderation the biscuit here and there is it won't won't uh won't be too bad so um so yeah we're into the uh the month of uh, september now and about october maybe usually it's like late october maybe early november that the the cutting season will start when the frost starts and uh when um you know the, everything is uh all the leaves are falling off the tree and stuff which is just starting in ireland now as well a bit so uh, that's going to be, uh, you know, physically demanding as well. So if any of you are approaching the cutting season this year, here's some advice. That's what that's what we make this video about. Just some advice leading into the uh, the, the cutting season. So if you're new to the world of black thorn, and uh, I'm just going to have a little biscuit. Never the best to be eating when you're trying to make a, a video. So some advice. If you want to go cutting most important thing is get um get the right cutting equipment um a lot of people they get these electrical devices and mini chainsaws and things like that but the handiest thing is uh, the, those pruning saws because like usually when you go into a black thorn bush there's going to be a lot of thorns everywhere you're working in a confined space and um, because i'm quite short i'm only like five foot uh three and a half i can get in and get out it's one of the advantages of of, uh, of of being small when you're a, a blackthorn shillelagh maker. So if you're quite a, a big lad of like six foot two, six foot four, like, you know, getting into where the best sticks are, it's going to be a bit of a challenge because you're, you're, you're a giant <laughs> compared to me anyway. Um, you know, if, you, you, if you're at the side of the road or something, clearing things like that, that's fine. But um, the best blackthorn you'd find are going to be in an overgrown bush and uh, they're going to be towards in the middle of the bush so you have to get in because all the black thorn at the edge of the bush it's going to see the light and it's be growing all in different directions and none of those black thorns are suitable for walking sticks because they're not they're not that straight and uh, they go in all different directions so first thing you got to do is get your your cutting equipment um safety equipment uh, definitely get some kind of goggles or or something just to protect your eyes because uh you know, when you're going in and weaving, like sometimes you're cutting something and something will spin around. Um, usually, like I wear some kind of hat type of thing as well because, uh, you know, you're going to to, 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 to get some, some spikes. And appreciate that this is quite a physical, dangerous endeavor that um, by dangerous, I mean you can get injured. Um, black thorns are, are poison, poisonous as well. So in addition to having the right cutting equipment, you know, get a good pair of leather gloves or one of those syringe gloves, you know, um, the, for picking up syringes there. They're pretty good. They're a bit pricey though. Um, get some goggles, get some, um, something to protect your eyes, get, get a hat and, uh, you know, get some, uh, have a first aid kit handy as well, because, um, you know, if you get some, some thorns, which you, you will, if you're approaching black thorn this season, you're going to get stuck by black thorn. You're going to need, you're going to need a, a good light like a little lamp uh you're going to need good eyesight and you're going to need uh, a tweezers and a needle to like to, to dig out any little bit of thorns because the very top of the black thorn has the poison in it and it's really tiny little little speck like you know imagine a little crumb that you see from a biscuit or something like that it's a little speck and it'll be black color and you have to dig it out because if you don't it'll get a bit septic and i think i've told you guys before if you get one here in your hand you know that's that's the worst place you, you want to get it because for some reason how it's connected it runs all up your arm and it, it makes you makes you things as well so um you know you you have to 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 be aware of all of these things it's not fun it's not it's like uh, everyone says oh it's great fun to go out there and cut black thorn no it isn't you're freezing you know you're getting hurt uh you know you're constantly trying to be alert like you know the the fun part is is making the handles you know, making the black thorns. Anyone who tells you to enjoy going out cutting, 
You know, they haven't been, they either is their first year cutting and they're so happy they got a few easy sticks that were right easy to cut or something. Occasionally you can get, get a few sticks like that that are, that are just easy or something. They've grown up so high that they're just coming out the bush and they're easy to get. But uh, anyone who tells you to enjoy cutting black thorn, they're, they're lying to their tree teeth. Um, <coughs> cutting black thorn is not fun. It's uh, it's it's uh, like it's nice to get outside and you know cut one or two and stuff. But if you're doing it professionally, you have to get the quantity up. Like if you're going out having a lovely walk, walking on scene one, cutting it out slowly, looking at you know the birds tweeting and the the beautiful nature. You go home and have a cup of tea. You feel great. Like you know you, that's that's not that's not that's not my experience. You know it's you only have a certain amount of time. You have to keep the farmers happy. The weather has to be good. You have to, to cut quite, quite a lot. So um, because my business has grown um, quite a lot over the last few years, like there's no way that I can physically cut the demand that I have. So usually I can kind of cut anything maybe up to about maybe 800, maybe a thousand per year if it's a good year, something like that. But, you know, I can sell, you know, a few thousand sticks per year. So I do need to, to buy in sticks as well. And uh you know, there's there's three there's three guys in particular that that uh, that I do buy buy sticks, and but I'm always looking for 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 new people as well. And uh, if if any of you um, cut black thorn uh, as well, like you know, I'm I'm quite happy to uh, to purchase that at the going rate that I have at the moment. Not uh, you know, occasionally you get guys who cut some black thorn and they they charge you like almost full price of a stick for it or something like that. You can you can keep that yourself, guys, and uh, and make something in three or four years with it. Um, so yeah, you just have to like have the right attitude that look, it's going to be tough, it's going to be difficult. Safety, have the the right weapons, have yourself and that weapons um uh, tools, have uh, your cell phone or mobile phone with you as well, just in case you get into a spot of bother. Um, you know if you're doing it for the first time, um, best to have someone with you. Don't don't do it on your own as well. You know, because every year, like you know, you just. Some some of these guys might watch these videos and say, "Oh yeah, it's great. Let's let's go and let's let's cut it or something like that." But um, you know, I'll I'll just leave you guys with the end now of this this uh, this uh, tea call call with that kind of uh, cautionary warning. But uh, if you have any questions about the cutting season, put them down below in the comments, and I'd be happy to to answer any questions you have specifically about cutting for this video. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.